Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Today, we're venturing into the rolling landscapes of Chestnut Hill, Tennessee, to a place where culinary and heritage intertwine, the Bush's Visitor Center. Amidst the verdant hills and gentle breezes of Chestnut Hill, Tennessee, there lies a monument to America's culinary heritage, the Bush's Visitor Center. We've visited many museums, but none quite like this. At the heart of the museum is the story of the Bush family, who started their business in 1908. Like many of the ancestors we've researched, A.J. Bush and his family had a vision for the future underpinned by dedication and resilience. The museum's exhibits provided a comprehensive journey detailing the Bush family's move from tomato canning to baked beans, a switch inspired by the popular recipes of the day. It was fascinating to see how this humble family business transformed over the years, evolving with the American story itself. We marveled at the vintage cans, early advertising campaigns, and cannery equipment. The interactive displays brought alive the sounds and atmosphere of a bygone era, making us feel as though we were walking alongside the Bush family through the various epochs of their enterprise. And who could forget the legendary Duke, the golden retriever from Bush's Beans commercials? At the Visitor Center, we learned about the real-life dogs behind the famous character. Seeing how this dog played such a significant role in the brand's legacy was heartwarming. One might wonder, what does a bean museum have to do with genealogy? For us, it was about understanding the dreams and aspirations of everyday people. Just as we delve into the stories of our ancestors, the Bush's Visitor Center illuminated the journey of a single family and their impact on the American culinary landscape. As genealogists, we understood that our past is made up of countless stories, each distinct yet interconnected. This visit revealed that every family, no matter how seemingly ordinary, has the potential to leave a significant impact. No visit would be complete without sampling the star of the show. At the Bush's Family Cafe next to the Visitor Center, we treated ourselves to an array of dishes featuring their famous beans. The classic baked beans were, of course, a standout. But the creative twists on dishes using their beans showcased their versatility and left us inspired for our own kitchen experiments. Our Bush's Visitor Center visit was more than just a fun day trip. It reflected the power of family, perseverance, and vision. And as we continue to uncover our family's history, we're reminded that every story, big or small, has its place in our shared heritage. Hey, thank you for joining us today on the Ancestral Findings Podcast. For additional resources and exclusive treats, visit AncestralFindings.com. You can grab a free genealogy ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and even participate in our weekly historical postcard giveaway. It's a treasure trove for every family history enthusiast. Your support by listening to the podcast genuinely means the world to me. If you want to support us in more ways, consider supporting us on Patreon or PayPal. Every contribution aids in delivering valuable content and continuing our free genealogy lookup service. From all of us at Ancestral Findings, thank you for being an integral part of our family history community since 1995. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy searching.